Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. Welcome to my vlog. Good morning. So I'm gonna start off this morning with making breakfast. I want to show you guys what I have been loving. This is my favorite breakfast as of late and also wanted to talk to you guys about the whole moving to New York and everything and kind of the update on what's going on with that. And I also got some questions on my rent and the process of me finding my apartment, which I did talk about a little bit in my previous vlog when I first moved. I think it was like my moving vlog. So I do live in a high rise. I have full amenities and everything. So going from all of this, being completely spoiled to going to New York and not getting nearly half as much as what I'm getting here, it's very... It's very depressing to say the least. I really have thought long and hard about this and it's I'm kind of having conflicting thoughts. So that's the whole that's the whole spiel. But first let's go ahead and make breakfast. I have quite a few things to say about this whole process and it is going to be delayed just a little bit because of some things that happened, which I will talk about later. So let's make breakfast. I have some laundry going on. I want to be today's Thursday, so this is Hopefully the start of my weekend. I don't think I have a lot to do tomorrow, but if I do, hopefully it's not too too much. So let's just get to making some breakfast. So I'm using this tortilla. This is the Yete tortilla and it's the cassava flour. Cassava is a vegetable, I believe. It's like a root vegetable. And this only has 60 calories in it. It's so good. You can actually make two of these if you want, but I'm also gonna have something sweet. So I just make one and it pretty much satisfies my savory craving in the morning. I really love having something sweet and savory. So this is perfect for me. I have an avocado and I'm gonna be using the brie cheese from Trader Joe's. This is the Elite of France. And then I also have a bag of recyclables. I should have gotten the trash bin that has a half recyclable and half trash but thus i'm always feeling guilty when i put bottles in the trash so that's where we're at i'm gonna put just a little bit of avocado oil this meal goes pretty fast whenever i cook this it's like pretty fast so i just kind of try to i'll first put this in a circle put some chili oil down so you want the heat to be a little lower God, I hope that's not my ping to go because I'm cooking right now. Crack an egg in the middle. I like to, of course, take out the chalaza. And then I'm going to cover it until the yolk is halfway cooked. I have the tortilla. I'm just going to take, I'm going to take half of an avocado and put it down. And then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to just put it on my tortilla. And that is my breakfast. This is super yum to have. Like, this has been my favorite. I've had it like three days in a row now. Because <laughs> that's how good it is. I have some yogurt here. And I'm just going to put the rest. Mix it. So since I got back from New York, which was last week, I've lost three pounds, which is really good, which is like, I'm on track to just lose the regular amount that I usually lose. So I'm really happy about that. Also add some blueberries. I also have some washed strawberries here and they're all organic. I washed them with baking soda and some vinegar. I try to eat them within three to five days sometimes it doesn't happen because i am one person and i don't want to have yogurt every single day but i also don't typically snack on strawberries unless i have the whipped cream and i don't have the whipped cream so haven't been doing that it's quite a lot so i have this much left i'm probably just gonna have it tomorrow and that's it finally be done with that i try not to buy too many groceries at once just because i'm notorious for like wasting it and throwing it away so I'm trying to be better at it. Here I have a whole container of lemon juice that I squeezed the other day. I like having lemon water, lemon water with something. I sometimes will have an Americano, but I haven't been liking the Paris pods. I feel like it's a little bit too rich these days. For an Americano, 
just means I need to go buy more in pods. So this is my balanced breakfast. Lemon water, tortilla with avocado, chili oil, eggs and brie cheese, and then some yogurt. I also have, I think my chia seeds are expired though, but I do have like cacao nibs that I can put on top. Ideally, goji berries and chia seeds and you're good to go but not too many seeds because they expand if you guys didn't know yeah that's about it that's my breakfast hope you guys try this because this is so good okay so i'm just gonna make a little wrap and i saw someone like i saw a clip of people saying that they don't eat romaine lettuce but i didn't think there was anything wrong with it it says that it's from texas not salinas i heard Salinas is a place to look out for. So this is leftover rotisserie chicken. These are the tortillas that I use because they are only 60 calories per sheet. I'll show you guys what I put in it really quickly. So I need to gather my ingredients together. I'm just warming up some of the rotisserie chicken. It has that sound to it because the bunch that I grabbed had some of the like rotisserie chicken like juice so it's not too dry okay. i think i've made this before in a video like my chicken wrap which i love so i have the tortilla i'm actually going to use primal kitchen avocado lime because because everything that i buy goes bad i bought this trader joe's green goddess i've had this before and i think it's it says it's expired but i should have froze it august 1st we are almost done with august now i can't believe it anyway i'm gonna just use some of this one i guess i don't really want to have the runs right now to be quite honest also gonna use a fourth of an avocado this one i used for breakfast this morning my breakfast was so good it was super delicious very simple so we're just gonna add avocado along here and i'm only having one i think usually i would have two right I don't know, I'm just like not that hungry right now, but I also don't want to eat after the gym because it's going to be too late. I feel like I put this down first, I don't remember. Sorry, you guys can't see that. I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken. And you can eat chicken skin if you want to, you don't have to. I think it has like considerable amount of fat. Actually, I don't really like the texture of it, so I'm going to take it out. I just remembered. I used to eat it when I was little because I didn't have a care in the world. That's why I got fat. <laughs> Just kidding. Then I'm adding the organic clover sprouts because they're so yum. Primal Kitchen, this one is, wow, 110 calories for two tablespoons. Trader Joe's is 20 calories for two tablespoons. We're gonna stick with Trader Joe's. I'm gonna go buy some tomorrow. What am I doing tomorrow? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna buy some tomorrow because this is way too much. I got this from Costco. I think they're bought out by a bigger corporation, like a bigger brand. Who owns them now? I don't know. Anyway, this is my first time buying their product and I didn't know it had that many calories, but whatever. I'm gonna do it like a spring roll. And that's my wrap. You can add more or less of anything. I know it looks like it's not a lot, but like I said, I am getting over a sore throat and being sick, so it still hurts to swallow food. Um, that's the only reason why I'm not eating a lot today. I just had some fruit that was like easy to swallow, like banana, tangerines, um, and blueberries because they were really soft, but that was about it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be back after my workout and show you guys how many calories I burned. Hi guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I had to come back from the gym not too long ago. I closed all of my rings today. I probably need to adjust my calorie count because right now it's at 400. I think I need to change it to like seven, but I think we're just gonna leave it at six because I am recovering, like I said, for like the millionth time. These are my stats for today. My calorie count move is 684 my exercise count is 81 stand i just put like six because sometimes i'm just sitting at my desk all day so i do the bare minimum steps i did 10,494 distance was four miles and 4.6 miles and so that was everything um i did move like back and forth a lot in my apartment and then also like taking out the trash and stuff those were already like 
I think like a mile in like steps like going back and forth which doesn't seem like a lot in the bigger picture, but like it does add up. This is just how my hair is. I let it air dry today and I kind of wish I didn't because my scalp is better when I like blow dry it, but I was on the phone with my little cousins. I don't know, should I call them my cousins or should I call them my nieces? Because Galeana is 17, Kayla's 15, I think, turning 16. And then Nita's, she's obviously my goddaughter. She is a year and some change. <laughs> So I feel like they're super young for me to like call them my cousins, but like they are my cousins. Like, what do you call that? Family tree wise, they are my cousins. So anyway, that's everything I was going to do. That's pretty much it for today. I'll show you guys tomorrow what I eat in a day. This is like the vlogs from now on are just gonna basically be me home. I have school next week. So I'm gonna be like doing all my essays and like studying and everything. Not really studying, there's, I you know, we don't really study. Like we just have a bunch of essays to do. I'm gonna be doing that, focusing on my fitness, going to my workouts. I am gonna sign up for SLT when I move to New York or there's a cat, there's a Legree studio called Catwalk Fitness in Stanford, which I might go to if I live in Stanford. I'm kind of like, just like I said, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna move to yet. And I don't really wanna say, just cause like, we don't know, we don't know here. I feel like I do have to like get up and like get out of this apartment and just move on with life i had the views i love it so much and so i'm i think i'm pretty much i'll be content if i have an apartment without a view i think just getting out of malibu that's what i needed to not be in a funk and like be super depressed i feel like it's like a new chapter and i just every day i just want to like progress towards my goals and so we're gonna try to do that so yeah that's the goal and i think i'm gonna eat it now but it's already gonna be 10 i don't think i should but i don't really want to starve myself like i said i'm not fasting so i don't really need to um i don't really need to like not eat but i know you're not supposed to eat like after a certain time I say hi to baby tuna say hi to the camera baby tuna look at who is that baby tuna so someone said that something could be wrong with like her her tummy or something or like her kidneys she does get checked for that monthly i feel really good i kind of was i did 12 3 30 but i actually only did it for 25 minutes instead of 30 because i was like my legs were giving out <laughs> and i don't hold on to the bars or anything like i really do like 12 3 30 so it's really it's pretty difficult to get back into it after not doing it for three weeks that's how long it's been since i've been in a gym granted i have been in my legree classes but that's like nothing like I don't know, Legree is great, but you really have to like focus on your diet and walk a lot as well if you want like your dream body. So, I don't know, weighing in at 138 was really like, I was really happy. When I weighed myself in Malibu last, I think I was like 136, so I would ideally like to be like 130 or 125, but like I said, slow and steady wins the race. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna just snuggle with baby tuna and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.
minus for Jenny. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Yum. Hi guys, good morning. So I took a shower and I feel super refreshed after Legree. I'm just so happy that I ended up going because I wasn't going to. And I just made some boiled eggs. So let me just peel them. Okay, since these are all overcooked, I'm just gonna, ouch. If you guys haven't seen my videos in a while, I am dieting because I was almost going to be like 150 pounds so now I'm at 137 so I'm trying to watch what I eat and just be mindful and eat healthier I'm also trying not to go out to eat or order in I'm just going to make food at home and do the, all that jazz it's gonna be a little difficult for me just because I'm obviously used to going out to eat and all that stuff but if I'm not paying it's fine <laughs> Obviously, I am not going to like willingly go out and like go out to eat and all that stuff So I'm really excited for lunch. I'm just gonna have this just as like a quick breakfast to get some protein in It's already afternoon. I'm gonna add some hot sauce and I always check calorie count for everything So if you get annoyed by that then don't watch and I do mention it because being in a calorie deficit is really important So that's like ideal for me mm, But yeah, I'm just gonna have this and do some editing on my computer so I'm gonna make a shrimp burger and this is going to be assembled very fast. So I already defrosted the burger. This is from Trader Joe's and it has 13 grams of protein, I think, and it's only 90 calories, which is so good. These are the buns that I'm gonna use. I've made this like twice already and it's so good. Here I have some grilled onions, so I'm gonna heat up half of it. I'm gonna add Thousand Island because I love this stuff. Not too much though. I'm also gonna add ketchup. Actually, I want it to be like this. Add the bun and then I'm gonna add the grilled onions. Okay, and this is my shrimp burger. I'm gonna have it with an Olipop. I just got these yesterday because I've been craving them, and I figured 35 calories is not that bad to have like a drink. It's better than having like regular soda or whatever. So, and it also has prebiotics, probiotics. It's really good. So, anyway, this is my lunch. It's already 2:30. I'm going to eat this and edit some more. I'm trying to get my vlog out. So hopefully it's out by the time you guys see this, of course. But this is so delicious. Let me have a bite. Well, actually, there's so much lettuce on here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh good. My eyes kind of hurt from editing, so I'm gonna watch Sex in the City. I'm gonna start it. It's my first time ever like watching this show, so I'm I don't really know what to expect, but I think because of everything going on with New York, of course, I decided to go ahead and watch it. I'll watch like two or three episodes and then get back into editing. Today feels so good to just like not do anything. Although I should be doing some laundry, but it's fine. Most of my laundry is done. It's just like face towels, I think. Also, you guys are wondering about my move. I will talk about it in like a get ready with me. So, or not a get ready with me, but like in a little bit. So, oh, you guys will see that in a bit. But yeah, this popcorn is also only 100 calories. It's a mini bag and this is the kettle flavor. Kettle is my favorite popcorn and I just love it so much. You only put it in for two minutes and then you take it out. I usually take it out at like a minute and 20 seconds because that's how long I feel like it takes 
Um, also, this is a candle that I'm burning. It's in the scent Floral Rose. You guys know this is my favorite. It's so good. Although it's not burning like the sides, so I'm gonna just like scrape it on the side. Just so it can like be even. This should look like this. <laughs> look at how cute. Mini bag. Sometimes it's like a hit or miss. Sometimes 120 is perfect. Sometimes it's a little bit too much. And I think today it was too much because I can kind of smell it burnt. It said like 115 to 130. I would go with less. So do like 115. Yum. I can't believe this is only 100 calories. Like, this is so filling. I love it. I love it, guys. I love it. Hi, guys. For dinner, I'm going to make the tuna cotto little slides that I like. So here I have some chicken of the sea. I think I have some already open, so I'm gonna check. This is the bread I'm using. It's the rosary family bread, and it's 100 calories per bun, which is good. Four grams of protein and carb 19. That's not like too bad. And I do freeze them, because I don't use them right away. I just have to thaw it out. Blend it up to your liking. This is frozen pesto because I didn't use all of it at once, so I went ahead and froze them in cubes, which is really convenient. Okay, so assemble. I really need to like empty out my fridge, so I'm just gonna be making food from things that I already have, which is really convenient. But like if I need veggies or something, obviously I'm gonna go to the grocery store to go get it. This is kind of too much, so I have this much left over that I'm not going to use. And then I'm going to go ahead and down the avocado. Some parts were brown, but I just went ahead and took it off. Adding tuna. Usually with one um, can, I get like two servings, but I'm pretty sure it's only one serving for the full amount of protein. Jalapeno. You can add as much or as little as you want. And then the final step is just to add some hot sauce. And I just add Cholula. I don't really like Tapatio for this because I feel like it's too like vinegary. But I love Tapatio with chips or like Lay's. So this is my dinner. Hope you guys have something yummy. I just am trying to stay healthy as so. well. These are my meals. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye. I'm going to watch Sex in the City. And it's already 7.10. Okay. Hi guys, good morning. I think yesterday I just showed you guys what I ate just because I just wanted to relax and like not really film a bunch. But I also didn't feel good because I started my period yesterday. So I kind of feel like a little like super low energy, but I still made it to the gym, which is what matters. I also trimmed my hair. I cut off like an inch. It wasn't too much just because I still want it to grow like really long. So I just been doing little trims just so the split ends don't go up higher. I also kind of want to get a hair mask today, but there's one that's online that I think I'm going to pick up, but we'll see if it's still in stock. So I just did like a regular like cross trim. It'll look better once my hair's done, but it's obviously not right now. To wash my face, I'm going to use the peptide cleanser. I'm almost out of this, but I don't think I'm going to repurchase just because I didn't think it was all that. My camera died, but I just put on my toner pad, the Collagen Ample. And I'm always really skeptical with anything that says like collagen stuff because they say that collagen cannot be absorbed into your skin when you're... There's like certain ways that it like actually doesn't work i forget what the whole like science behind it is i always think that's really interesting i'm just too lazy to gouache right now so i'm not going to i'm gonna use the faded topicals this i use during the day and then at night i will use my retinol from shani darden and that actually helped me get rid of amelia that i had on my under eyes i didn't really like post a before and after or anything but it is gone like I was actually gonna like puncture it and remove it myself because I've done that before on this side. It, although this side was a little bit bigger, but I was gonna do it myself and then I just was patient and kept using the retinol and it went away. Well, like it, so retinol basically like 
I feel like it like peels off layers of your skin like little by little but you don't really notice the difference day to day but over time you will and that's how your skin gets lighter and your complexion is even and it just looks overall more youthful and brighter and just firm it really helped with that so i've been using it at night all over my face again i was using this but i didn't really notice a difference at night when i was using it i more so noticed a difference with the good molecules i just wanted to try this out and i like the packaging i think it's like kind of cool i love packaging like this i think it's like kind of working like some of it has faded just like not as fast as i would like i also use this kiehl's clearly corrective dark spot solution and it just comes in a clear bottle like this and i'm like almost done with it I think Kiehl's actually sent this to me and I particularly love that product. And then my daytime oil is the Elemis Superfood in this green packaging here. Oh my god, I totally forgot. I usually put on my vitamin C before my oil because it can separate it, but I'm just going to put it on right now because I don't like going without this. When I use the one from Kiehl's, I didn't show you, it's just not. Actually, this feels better than when I put it under because under it can tend to peel and this actually looks better. And then after that, it's just my moisturizer. I use the Drunk Elephant during the day. And then for my under eyes, I've been using the Biosan Squalling Marine Algae eye cream and i have a few samples of this so i've been trying it out and they gave a bunch it's like lasted me a month already and i still have a few more packets i was hyper stressing about new york for the longest time and now i'm finally not stressed thank god and i'll tell you guys why in a minute i think everything happens for a reason whether it happens or not obviously my sunscreen is the hyaluronic acid from i don't know how to pronounce this brand isn't tree I don't know. I just use like a pretty generous amount. The UV index in Los Angeles has been Los Angeles. I never say Los Angeles. The UV index in LA has been has been like 9, 10, which is super super high. And it's like going into the purples. So I've been putting on my sunscreen every single day, especially on my face since my desk is in the corner. So I'm exposed to the sun literally all day long. And I actually want to move my desk to like my bedroom area and then maybe put like a little dining nook there because I feel like that would be just, that would be super cute and I think that's what I wanted like this whole time but I was scared the chairs would get in the way of like the door. I also feel like that's kind of dumb considering that I want to move soon and I don't really know like what my layout, my future layout is going to be or if I'm going to be like in a smaller space. And obviously if I move across country, that's going to add to the cost of like my moving fee just because it's going to be way more furniture. So let's go get ready. I need to go to ASAP today and I also need to go to the bank. Well, the bank's not open, but I just need to go to the ATM. And then I need to avoid my jeweler at all costs because I cannot, I cannot go. <laughs> Anytime soon, I need to save. Also, my grande lash, I just ran out. I always get the biggest tube that they offer, and it lasts me a while. I used my Ordinary Lash Serum yesterday because I still had it, and that burned the crap out of my eyes. like so bad, yeah. Anyway, I need to repurchase a new one of this one. I also want to go to Target because I bought the Notorium Glycolic Acid Body Wash, and I don't really like it. Like, I use glycolic acid anyway, so I feel like it's kind of a lot and I think I'd rather stick to the ordinary serum. So I'm going to exchange it for a different body wash and also the top broke. So it's like not working and it's a super, super thick body wash. So it's like really annoying to like get out of the packaging. So I need my ASO back. That's like the one thing that I cannot compromise on when it comes to spending. I told myself like Jenny, lower down on your spending and like just do less, get less things. I have definitely been better about that, especially with food. I feel like I spend the most money on food because I'm buying organic everything, high quality everything. I haven't been able to compromise also in that aspect, but I do think that with consumerism in terms of like Sephora and like Ulta and all this stuff and Ulta has like their 21 days of beauty, I'm definitely gonna just focus on the things that I really need and not the things that I want. So that's kind of how my mindset is now that I have to save a bunch. I think my goal is probably, the thing is I have savings in like my high yield savings and investments and I don't wanna touch those. So liquid cash, I need to save at least 15,000 in order to move, which is honestly like bare, bare minimum, like bare minimum 
15,000. I'm going to try my best. It's not gonna be easy, I know that because I have so many things that I take care of, like my rent, a really big cost for me. So anyway, let's go ahead and sit down and chat about it because I feel like this is the one time where I'm okay with being transparent with you guys and like finances because I usually never talk about that. Let's go ahead and do that. I put on my sunscreen already, right? Did I? Them? I think I did. Did I? I think so. Okay, let's go. <gasps> First off, the New York rental market is honestly insane. I genuinely don't know if I'm gonna find something by the time that I decide to move over there just because I took a look at my lease agreement and I actually realized that I have a lease termination clause which states that I have to pay $5,000 if I want to terminate, terminate my lease earlier mutually. So that means that I'm not gonna have a negative mark on my credit score. Basically, there's like no bad blood between me and my landlord. Because of that, there's no other way that you can really get out of a lease unless you're evicted and that's just California law. I'm sure there are things that you can do where if you go to a psychiatrist or something like that, someone who's licensed and you get like a court order or something that says that you have to break your lease, then maybe you can, but there is it states that there is absolutely nothing that you can do under no circumstances can you break the lease my lease ends on january 31st thank god because i actually thought it didn't end until february 31st which or february 29th whatever it is because i thought that i was gonna have to stay here for like another month after that because i cannot move until let's say january i'll i'm pretty sure i'll be in like new york and stuff in january so because I cannot find a place until January, usually August, and I wanna say like June are the times that pe most people rent just because they're students and everyone's coming into New York to go to school and everything like that. So it's a lot more, it's a lot more condensed in that sense. I feel like this is a really good opportunity for me to actually save and high yield savings, that's actually liquid cash too if you think about it, but all of my money is going in there so I don't really see it. It goes in there, it accumulates interest. Of course, everybody knows what a high yield savings is, but I think like in terms of like my bank, bank account that I actually use, my mom actually dips into there too i feel like i want to show that like there is income savings so i actually had all of my direct deposits from like all of my youtube stuff and everything that goes in there so it looks like it's making like the bare minimum for like minimum wage into that account and then in my regular account it's my corporate wage so it's just in my regular account is like my alley account but i don't i obviously just transfer money from there to my chase account when i use my credit card so there's never like a balance that's going over because i don't want to pay interest on that obviously because then that would be a waste it's like the interest that i'm making from my ally account is just going to the interest that i owe for my chase account chase i only have my credit card i have the preferred i don't have the reserved just because i do have an amax platinum so that one i already pay a huge fee per year and then i don't want to pay like another fee on top of it that's that but basically what i'm gonna do to save fifteen thousand is just three thousand a month which i think is not that bad considering also like my rent and everything that i'm still going to continue to pay and because i'm still paying rent it's okay that i probably have a little bit less than that like i think they would accept me if i had like ten thousand liquid in my regular like bank of america account or something or like my city account because it will show that i'm still currently paying rent at my place and that i'm paying it i just saw that they requested a summary of your bank statement not necessarily itemized so because of that they can still see the money going out like if let's say my let's say i spend like fifteen hundred dollars just normally and then i'm paying twenty seven hundred dollars in rent they're gonna see that there is 4200 going out every single month so they can assume that i am paying rent with that because no one's gonna spend like that much if you're not paying rent because then your cost would be a lot less unless you're a compulsive spender which in turn they can ask you for an itemized statement if they suspect anything is off so they will take a look at that but you can obviously black stuff out of your statement if you don't feel comfortable doing that a lot of the documents that they were asking for i was not required to provide that in terms of getting my place here in la because i don't know i think it was like during covid i don't think they were like super strict about that but i obviously did have to have pay stubs proof of income i submitted i forgot what i submitted but i don't remember i also gave them an extra like deposit because i didn't have any renters 
history because I had roommates before my ex and I were living together so there was like no proof that I was like ever renting anyway back to the lease termination agreement it would be five thousand dollars for me to break my lease and I just don't think that that's a smart decision I don't know you guys tell me if you guys think it's like I definitely feel like there are more opportunities for me in New York for work and I would get more commission because I'd be working more whereas here in LA I'm not working as much I'm kind of doing the bare minimum and I'm still getting paid a great salary but it's just my commission is just not as much as it would be if I was in New York so I came to the conclusion that it's 13,000 either way or 14 give or take 5,000 to break my lease first month's rent and deposit for New York would be 5,400 because let's say I'm getting a place for 27 which is how much my place is here now so it's not that big of a difference it doesn't really bother me that places are in the 2,800s or like 2,700s I think if more of them were in like the 35 and like 38 that would that would make me live it that would make me pissed off then i i don't think that i would even consider living in new york i would probably i mean i have considered living in neighboring areas of new york but i just that would just make me so mad because like how are you gonna move to new york and not live in manhattan for the first time anyway so it would be 5400 now we're at 10,400 right movers are going to be 2,500 so that leaves you at 13,000 that's not including flights that you're going to have to take to get there and I don't fly basic economy I don't fly like I fly main cabin that's like the bottom that I would fly I don't fly budget airlines or anything like that I fly delta so that would be like $500 in addition which is like obviously not necessary but it's just what I whatever that's just what I would choose. Okay, I realize I'm doing my makeup and like we're already not even like halfway through. In comparison to if I stay in my apartment until just when the lease is over and I just follow through with my lease contract, it would be 2700 times 5, which is like 13.5 I think. But I would be paying that over like a span of, you know, X amount of months. Whereas if I move to New York, it's like I need to pay everything like now, no, 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 no. And then in turn also pay my rent every single month after that. And that just sounds like way more to me up front than paying this overtime and being able to save and doing everything at my own pace and not rushing. And like I said, I'm not moving to New York for any particular person. I'm not even dating anybody, to be honest. I meant it when I said that my ex and I broke up, <laughs> that I wanted to break up with him because I wasn't being treated the way that I wanted to be treated. So we have talked here and there. And every time I would say like, oh, let's, let's break up. He'd be like, oh, well, we should meet up and we should talk about it. I got to a point where I was just like, no, I'm not okay with that. Like we do that every single time and we get back together every single time. So I'm just kind of like over it. Baby, come here. I was looking at places on Street Easy and everything that I liked just kept going super fast. There was one in particular, I will never forget this. They had marble counters on the in the kitchen. It was so clean and it was prime area that I wanted to live in because there's only a certain area that I'm looking for apartments in. I changed my mind on the area that I wanted to live in in Manhattan. So because I've only been choosing this specific area, I've definitely limited my options and it's not very modern. Well, some of the places are remodeled, but there are far less options in this area than I anticipated, which makes it a little bit more difficult for me. It's okay, I'm just gonna try and pray that I find something when the time comes because I just don't want to... I just don't want to like be left out in the cold and like have to compromise on an area that I'm not interested in living in and I don't feel safe in. That's also everything that I kept bookmarking was just gone, 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 gone. Like the next morning I'd wake up, oh, there's an update on the listing that you saved, gone in contract it was just ridiculous it just sucks like i wasn't prepared obviously even if i were to move like in november which is when i initially wanted to i obviously wasn't prepared i didn't have anyone available to go and look at the units for me and it was just a lot more stress than i really wanted because i was i felt like i almost started losing hair because of this as soon as i reread my lease and i realized that i couldn't leave until basically the lease is over otherwise i'd have to pay that fee i thought to myself like yeah that's that was a done deal for me that sealed the deal and that was what i needed for me to say like hey jenny you know what just relax enjoy your time in la that you have left 
and do the things that you want to do in LA and go to the museums by yourself, go eat by yourself, go to your favorite places because I'm not going to have any of this once I move there. I'm not going to be a regular at any one particular spot and that makes me so sad to think about. I mean, I was born in Long Beach but obviously LA is vast and I've lived here ever since I was legal of age. That makes me really really sad and I don't know that I will be in New York for my whole life. I want to say if I'm happy and I get engaged and everything out there then great but I feel like LA is just a place where I never imagined myself leaving from and I never saw the charm in New York and to be quite honest I still don't. I don't know if New York is a place that I want to be long term but I think it is so important for me to not regret doing this move because I'm scared or because I'm comfortable with living here and because I'm just so used to LA I don't want to regret not moving I don't want to regret not experiencing that and although I'm getting older and I feel like I might have regrets that I'm not settling I might have regrets that I'm not getting married and having a family at this age because I already do regret that like I already do so that's over and done. I genuinely feel like now I just want to do this for me and I want to do it because I want to and not because I feel pressured to which initially when I was talking to my ex-partner he was like yeah just do it like it's best to terminate the lease like it's the same it's the same price whatever and I thought oh well, it's the same price like that should be no big deal but in the long run it's more expensive for me to just up and leave obviously because it would just be like a huge fee initially and it's not like he was offering to provide less stress with like the movers or any of the fees or anything like this was gonna be me like on my own completely so because of that I just realized it wasn't worth it for me to it just like wasn't worth it for me to be with someone who was like pressuring me and pressuring me and not offering the solution to make this whole situation any less stressful I really want to use this up for my bronzer because I want to move on to other things but this is like one fluid ounce and this is a lot of product so I'm gonna just try to use this every day and get rid of it I just like want to go through my makeup products because I don't want too many things in my drawers I just really want to focus on like just buying the things that I love and the things that I use because obviously not everything that I have I've purchased on my own I have gotten them like gifted to me the makeup and stuff like obviously brands will send you stuff I have so many things that I don't use that I'm not like, loving and I do normally get rid of those things really quickly but I feel like my drawer is a little bit fuller than what I would like so anyway that was the whole update in like with the New York situation I thought I could move as soon as November which actually I mean I can but I just think that would be super dumb to do because of the lease and everything and I don't want to take just like 15,000 from my high yield savings and then just decide okay I'm gonna use this to make a move and just be spontaneous with it like I don't want to do that I want to really think about it and I usually spend Christmas with my family anyway so I am gonna be here in LA well like I'm gonna be up the hill with my family and for Thanksgiving, I always go to my mom's house. I would just really like to take in the holidays with my family. And obviously I could always come back, but it's just not going to be the same. Like I can't just like drive up there and they're an hour and a half away. I can't do that. Because of that, I feel I really just need to soak in this time that I have in LA. And I think it's really good that it's that I'm able to prepare for this because it just makes me feel a lot better as opposed to upping and leaving. I'm going to set my under eyes. But yeah, I know that January is not typically a great time to lease in New York just because it's rainy. Actually, this last season was not that rainy, I feel like, in January. It was here and there, but it wasn't like thunderstorming or anything. It wasn't too bad. It was just cold and windy, but I'm used to that because of the high desert. And I felt like it was the same cold that it usually is. Like, I don't know. It was... To me, it wasn't any different. Also with moving, it'll give me time to get my body in shape and just be in the best shape that I could possibly be in because that's my goal. I feel like staying has more pros than cons, obviously. I just want to do things for me and not for other people. I feel like for the longest time, I was doing things for other people, staying in a certain place because I wanted to be close to someone or because I was in a relationship and I kept doing things for people and nothing for myself. Now I want to go at my own pace. I want to do it 
at a pace that makes me feel comfortable and not rushed so i think that's like super important and also i feel like if you just can't make long distance work for months even for a year then there is no point in being together if there's like no communication no nothing like a year a year i knew i told myself if this works out like i will we will discuss like what we should do in a year and we couldn't even make that work so and also with dating there are so many more opportunities in new york than there is in la i feel like i've scoured the internet for all of the guys in la and there are men here in their 40s who are like not even interested in being in a serious relationship so that's really frustrating to say the least and i'm just totally over it so i think this would be like a good step for me to just be like hey you know what like i'm gonna go for it and whatever happens happens to say the least i'm very excited and i'm just really happy to have decided this and i know they say like don't share everything that you're gonna do like online or whatever because if it doesn't happen then it doesn't happen like obviously i shared that i wanted to move like by november and it's not happening and i don't think that there's anything wrong with it i think that if something doesn't work out it's always for a reason i think that for me at least nothing has ever not worked out that i wanted to work out i was very on the fence about the move i was more so 70 percent wanting to stay in la and 30 percent wanting to move it just solidified my decision and that it's not the good not the best time to move right now and i know that manhattan is only going to get more expensive i think my budget for an apartment is i want to say 3300 but there are a lot that are in like the 2700s that if i find something that i like then i will go for it but i think ideally i want to stay under 2900 or like under 3000 so like that's my limit and obviously like i said in my apartment now i pay 27 so it's not like that big of a jump especially considering where i'm gonna be living i'm not gonna have to take ubers i'm not gonna have to spend a whole lot on transportation everything is within walking distance i feel like it's just a healthier lifestyle as well in terms of like just being able to walk everywhere and all of that but honestly i just feel like i will always feel like la is superior to new york sorry <laughs> That's not even like me like growing up here and like saying like, oh, LA is better, whatever. Yeah, I just like perfect weather all the time. We've only had a few days of rain where it was really horrible. And then like the little mini hurricane storm that we had that was like very mini in comparison to some of the rain that we've had the years before. Obviously, I'm going to be more biased and say that I love LA more because I feel like I always will. I just remembered I also have to go to the Apple store to get a new Apple charger because my aunt, I left it at my aunt's house and I'm so like, I've been using this mini, I've been using like a mini Apple charger and it's like one that I got from Amazon that you can actually put on a keychain, which is really cute. It's really cute, but it obviously does not charge fast and it's super frustrating, especially if like my watch is going to die and I need to go to the gym in like 30 minutes or like 15 minutes. I definitely need a new charger. It's already noon. What the Heck. yeah i woke up at seven and i just laid in bed the whole time and barely got up like at 10 so i'm a little bit behind but it is sunday so not really in a rush to do anything although i just realized that i do have to film my dossier video so i'm probably gonna do that tomorrow i'm so happy i'm not sick anymore you guys i was sick for a week when i got back from connecticut in new york there was like something in the air i don't know this was the same thing that got me sick last time and then my doctor said it was just an rti so i don't know if that was true or not but i mean he's a certified doctor so i get it yeah i was really sick and then i also lost my voice again like the last time so i was kind of like okay is this like normal like what the heck super super like horrible sore throat phlegm everything and then i couldn't talk for like three days so that was pretty annoying i'm really excited to just start saving more because i've never been like super great with it um anything that goes into my retirement and my 401 like that does it automatically so it's not like i really have a say so because of that i have money saved that like i hadn't seen and then everything goes into my high yield savings right away so i kind of just see interest accumulate on that and like i said i only spend on my credit card and then i will just pay back the full balance i've seen people with like a lot of limits like on their credit cards and stuff with my chase credit card my limit is not even like that much it's only ten thousand dollars which i feel like is very little but considering it took me a while to get my credit score up because it's at seven seven thirty five right now i feel like that's pretty good i don't know 
mm, when I first got out of high, not out of high school, out of college, when I was at my other uni, I think it was at 400 because I had gotten my first credit card with Capital One. And then, and then actually that ended up going to collections because I was so irresponsible and like buying makeup and stuff. But I paid it back, obviously. So my credit went up. Mm, and then leaving Malibu, I think it was at 630. So then it was actually a little difficult for me to get my apartment because I didn't have renter history and then my credit was at 630. So I ended up having to give like an extra deposit. I think I told you guys that already. I gave an extra deposit, the initial deposit, which was like 500 because 500 is like the base deposit. That's how most apartments are in LA. You don't really have to pay like a whole month of rent unless there's like some sort of like reasoning. This is pretty much my makeup done. I have to make something to eat because I'm actually so hungry right now and I don't want to like go out and be hungry and then go buy Chipotle or like go get sushi or whatever. So I really want to just eat before I go. My lashes always get super short when I get them done, like when I get a lash lift. So I'm kind of considering like not even doing it anymore just because they keep like breaking off. And I've gone to like two different people but I thought I liked the girl in New York, but I don't know. They were like, they're so short now and they were so long before. Like it looks good like a few a few months after because my lashes are like growing again. But every time I like get them done initially, they're always so short and my lashes were not that short. I kind of want to do a deep cleaning today because like my drawers are so messy and I just don't have anything organized. So I really want to do that when I get back. I just like need to get rid of stuff like now because I feel like if I have to do a big cleanup or like throw away later when I'm like in the moving process and stuff because even if I don't live here, even if I don't move to New York, I'm still going to live in LA. I'm still going to live somewhere in LA whether that's like on the west side or still in downtown. Either way, like I'm still going to have to move out of this unit. So Basically, and I'm being severely overcharged for it, like super overcharged. I think like 500 because I saw, I looked at the flooring plan and it said that it was leasing for way less. So I'm totally getting ripped off right now. That's actually kind of my fault because I didn't renew when I was supposed to renew and I ended up doing like month to month and then I had to pay the month to month, the month to month cost for like the year that I wanted to. When I decided to like, okay, fine, I'll renew. I ended up having to pay like the full. The full amount pricing so basically if you don't renew your lease you go month to month and then they give you a certain pricing for month to month because it's like not contract so you can like leave whenever and because of that it's more expensive so because i decided to let that prolong for like six months and then when i decided to renew my lease they were like okay look we're gonna we're gonna either charge you more for month to month or you're gonna have to sign a lease with the pricing that you're paying for month to month because i didn't initially sign before when it was like a i think it was like a three percent increase or something so that was like way better but i still didn't sign then so i would have i could have only been paying like 2400 but now i'm paying 2700 so super super bad don't be like me and renew or give your 30 day when you're supposed to okay i need to write down what i'm gonna do because i totally forgot i'm also watching sex in the city and it's actually so entertaining i don't know why i never gave it a shot beforehand i think like, just being a person of color, okay? I'm not saying this like in a racist way, but like seeing a show just full of white girls and like in New York and stuff, like that never appealed to me ever. Like I was never like, okay, yeah, let me watch this. Like ever, ever, ever. Not even Friends. Like I never really got into Friends. And I think just because I've been going like to New York often and everything, it's like interesting to me. But I loved Gossip Girl, but I don't know why like Sex in the City just like was never, like I never wanted to watch it. And actually Sarah Jessica Parker, I feel like she looks like 37 in there. I don't know how old she's supposed to be. I think they said she was supposed to be like, they're all supposed to be in their early 30s. I was like, oh my gosh, am I gonna look like that when I'm in my early 30s? <laughs> I wanted to cry. I think it's just the wrinkles around her eyes, like when she smiles or she laughs, it's very prominent. I think that's probably like one of the, one of the reasons why she looks a little bit older. Yeah, I don't know the exact age that she's supposed to be. I haven't like, it hasn't been anyone's birthday like in the show yet. So they haven't really like set a number. So I'm not even sure. Like I just know they said like early 30s. I think that's it, but let's make some lunch. I'm gonna make the Joe and the Juice tuna cotto sandwich because I have the leftover tuna from yesterday, as you guys probably saw. So let's make that and then I can start my day because I'm so hungry. It's gonna be 12.15 right now. My favorite part is assembling. Also, there has to be like some sort of skinnier tripod because why is my tripod like humongous? I feel like they've made some that are way smaller and better, so I really need to look on that. But I mean, I like mine, it goes pretty tall. So that's why I've been using the same one. 
I still have my huge tripod that I have not taken out at all. But that one was good for my Sony camera because that one was so heavy. But I don't even use that anymore. So I think I'm going to get rid of it. I really want to keep my ring light because I'm pretty sure my... I just like feel like I might need it in the future. Pesto done. This is also a waste, obviously, because... <laughs> not using it but this was like fresh pesto which is why i had to freeze it before it got bad and then For the last step, I just used Cholula. Oops. And then I'm gonna have it with an Olipop, and this is just a, <laughs> this is just a glove, cause I don't wanna touch it with my hands. And that's my breakfast. Well, my lunch, cause it's already 12.30. So I just finished my lunch. I'm gonna do some dishes now before I head out, because I want it to be like semi-clean when I come back. Also, I've been using, let me just talk to you guys. <laughs> Also this week, I've been using my dishwasher because after apartment hunting in New York, I was like, I need to figure out what the hype is around this dishwasher. So I finally used mine and I have used it a few times before, but I didn't like think anything crazy about it because growing up, we actually didn't use the dishwasher that often. It was more so like if there was just a ton and we had too many things to do. Otherwise, I prefer to wash my dishes by hand, but my hands have been a little bit dry these days. So I decided to try out the dishwasher and I get the hype, but I don't think it's like a must have. Like some people put it on like their must have list for their apartments and I'm just kind of like, you don't like need it. Like it's not like a necessity. Like I could live without it, but I do realize that it does give you a little bit more counter space. So I don't know if like that's what they mean, but yeah, dishwasher, not a must have for me, but nice to have. Yeah, it's nice like if you're lazy, I guess, but I just like don't really care. So I just wanted to say that because I just thought that was a really interesting like take while I was searching for apartments in New York. <laughs> this is my outfit. I'm just wearing on this textured, long sleeve and it kind of like accentuates the waist because of the way that the lines are going but i also have on just these back black slacks my effortless pants are at the dry cleaners so i get that back on tuesday and then yeah that's pretty much it i'm just gonna wear my birkenstocks like the black ones that are like right there in the top row because yeah that's just like the best best choice for me right now um they're super comfortable oh actually no yeah yeah, yeah i'm gonna wear them i haven't worn them in a while so i'll go ahead and put those on then I just braided my hair because I didn't feel like doing it. It's pretty much it. I'm going to do a, my rosemary hair mask when I get back. But I also kind of wanted to go to Sephora to look at a hair mask. But oh, I totally forgot to look at the one that I was wanting online. But anyway, that's pretty much it. <laughs> just a very simple outfit. I'll come home. I decided for dinner I'm just going to make the shrimp burger once again. Because I really don't feel like going to Whole Foods and getting all of that. So I'll do that tomorrow morning. Hopefully I can get a spot at Legree. I'll do that tomorrow morning when I'm done with Legree and then I can just relax for the rest of the day because I really don't feel like doing anything else. But yeah, so let's head off to Aesop and the Apple Store. Um, I just need a rose by another, um, body wash? Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, a refill bottle. Yeah. Is there a price difference in it or is it the same? Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, no, it's okay. I just like the case of it. Oh, yeah. The case yeah. is totally nice. For Jenny? Oh no, thank you. Thank you. Hi guys, I just got back. My face is so red from being outside. Also, maybe it's for my blush as well. But I was wearing my Celine glasses and it doesn't make like the marks on my nose as prominent. Like it's there, but 
I don't know, it's like not as bad. I feel like I did end up getting another pumpkin spice chai. Or it's just like a dirty chai with um, the pumpkin cream cold foam. It's so good. But I think that's like the last one I'm gonna have this week because it's like really sweet. I was just trying it right now and I was like, oh, it's kind of sweet. So I got the same body wash that I usually get. It was a little bit cheaper. I don't know how much the refillable bottles are, but it's a little less than the regular ones. And you guys know, I'm not a person who refills my ASO bottles. Like this is a hand wash one. I really like this one. It's the Resurrection Aromatique hand wash. And I had one in the kitchen, but I wasn't like using hand wash in the kitchen. I would just use like dish soap because of like greasy hands. So I went ahead and put the other one in the bathroom. So I will have to purchase another one after I'm done with this. But I do not play around with my A soap. Like I do not refill it with anything else. I don't pretend it's something else. The quality is just so good. I really love it. I go through this maybe like two or three months. It depends. It depends if I'm home or not, but I was going through these like water. I really like the other ones as well. But so if you buy this one, I think you save like $2. It's not that much, but it's something. So just save your pumps. And I love it. I can't wait to take a shower. I was using this one. You guys saw that I bought it. It's like up to here. It's so thick that I feel like I can't get just like one single use. Like it's so much product. And then this thing just broke off like in the shower. So I'm going to return this to Target because I'm mad. And then this I'm going to recycle it. So yeah, I don't use like a bunch of products in the shower. Right now I'm using whey shampoo and conditioner and then also chi conditioner. And then yeah, I'm not using anything like crazy it's just my normal products asop like i said i cannot compromise on it so i just went to the bank it's kind of like a long walk so i was pretty tired after because it's really hot right now and then well i went to asop first and then i went to the bank and then i just ordered my starbucks while i was on my way walking home I was gonna go to the Apple store, but my aunt says she's gonna send my Apple charger. So I feel like I could go another few days just using the little mini charger that I have, but I'm really like not liking it. I just don't wanna spend like a hundred bucks on like, they have this charger where you open it and you can charge your phone and also your watch and it's really cool. So I was considering getting that if I walked in, but I think it's like $150 or something like that. And I really don't feel like spending that right now. I'm just sitting down and editing now and I'm also drinking my drink although it's not as great as it was the first time I feel like because this time there's cinnamon on top and I think that's how you're supposed to make it but I didn't have it like that yesterday or actually I don't think it was yesterday I think it was the day before yesterday definitely don't be greedy and get something just because it was really delicious the first time I feel like gluttony is definitely in full effect right now in terms of me getting this drink again but that's fine I'll still drink it I'm editing my Blackpink video right now when I went to the concert with my cousin and then I'm so excited to edit my other videos being home because it's just been so long and I always get really excited when I get to vlog from home again because it's like back into my normal routine and it gets me like inspired to just, I don't know, like clean and just keep my space nice and tidy. It's really nice. So yeah, one of my friends came over actually yesterday because he was going through some things so we were just like chatting and he told me that he really liked how everything in my apartment had a place because there was nothing that was like out of place or like unorganized so that made me really happy although it's a little messy right there in the background now. but yeah i thought that was really nice because i usually feel like my things are all over the place but i'm definitely gonna have to do a deep clean once again i will probably do that later after i do my nails because i have to do my nails over but i want to edit this video first so that's what i'm gonna get done so let's get started hi guys i've been editing for quite a while and i facetimed with someone that i matched with on hinge which was like super awkward because i feel like he just like could not keep the conversation going and then he made a comment like oh yeah like i'd rather meet people in person because like the vibes are different or whatever and i agree to a certain extent but i feel like if you can't even hold a conversation then it's just like really awkward <laughs> even if it's over the phone i feel like that's like the number one thing that like the phone kind of like determines is whether or not this person can keep the conversation going and i'm pretty good at it but that was just like horrible honestly yeah i'm not calling him back i'm just getting ready to go to the gym i put water in here already and i'm gonna add some lemon juice to it because I just like the way that it tastes better <laughs> It doesn't just taste like nothing. So I'm gonna add like two tablespoons, maybe three. We'll just do three. 
And then I'm gonna eat my shrimp burger when I get back. I'm also gonna add some ice. I'm wearing like an aloe top. I'm just wearing this aloe top and then my Fabletics leggings because these are really good at absorbing like sweat. Just because I'm doing 12, 330 and 10K steps at the gym. And then I'm gonna do, I don't know. I haven't really been wanting to do abs to be honest. I think I'll just leave that to agree. Hopefully I can get a spot tomorrow because all the spots are filled or Monday morning, but Usually somebody cancels, so I'm like hoping that somebody does. If not, I'll have to go to make a former studio, but I really like the instructor there too. I don't know, I'm just like not in the mood to do anything these days. That is it. I actually love how my apartment looks at this time of day because the sun is setting. It's like golden hour in my apartment and it looks so nice, but did someone move in next door? No. Oh. I don't know where that light was from but as you guys can see the light looks so good so my apartment is facing west so i get the sunset and then i it's also sunny like most of the day especially since i have a corner unit and i have like floor to ceiling windows it's really nice it's not really a corner unit but i have like some i don't know if you guys can see but i have like obviously that part is light and open so it feels like more open which is so nice i love well I love my apartment so much and I'm just gonna enjoy it while I have it. So I'm really, really happy that this is my first apartment after my breakup. So it just is gonna feel so bittersweet that I'm gonna move out of here. But anyway, let's, let's not think about that too soon. Anyway, let's go to the gym. I'll see you guys when I get back. So I got back from the gym and I am so, so hungry. Oh, hold on, my little sister FaceTimed me. I called you on accident. Oh, bye. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put some Thousand Island. You guys saw me make this yesterday, so literally the same thing. And then I'm gonna put down the lettuce, grilled onions. They're better when they're fresh, but I'm too lazy to make new ones. And then I'm gonna add the patty and some avocado. I looked up how to assemble a burger and I think I'm still doing it wrong, so. Just do it however you want. I don't know what order it goes in in order for it to not spill out. Okay, so this is weird, but every time I'm in the kitchen and there's hand soap and dish soap, like I'm gonna wash my hands with dish soap because of the grease, right? Like, does that not make sense? Like I will never go to a sink in the kitchen and decide to use the hand soap over the dish soap. I don't know. I'm gonna add ketchup to the top. You actually should probably put ketchup to the top and Thousand Island only on the bottom because I think that's what's making it spill out there's like spillage once again <laughs> this is my burger that looks delicious i'm gonna send a picture to my mom because she likes mm. Mm. this is so good every time every time you guys have to make it just once and if you guys have a partner i promise you they will love it this is so so good you guys know i get like really obsessed with things that i eat sometimes <laughs> but just trust me on this one please Anyway, I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna eat and take a shower. Hi guys, Bye. I'm ready for bed. I just finished finalizing the Blackpink vlog. I was also on FaceTime with Jazzy. Luna's here with me. I'm wearing my, I forget what these are called, but these are like Lululemon um, sweatpants. Not the joggers, but I don't really know, like soft stream or something like that. I love them, they're so comfortable. And I kind of want to get more colors, but I cannot get any. I can't buy anything and it's so frustrating. I did make a purchase on Kohl's because they had the Briogeo hair mask for sale and also a toner that I really, it's like the fresh toner and I'm almost running out of mine. So I also got that. I also got another retinol because I'm also going to run out of my retinol. What else? Beauty blenders because I need a new one. Mine is starting to smell like gross. <laughs> it's so embarrassing to say, but... Yeah, mine is starting to smell like a little gross and they had a really pretty lilac color for like 10 bucks. And so, yeah, I just got a few things that I needed. I also got my cousin some makeup because that's like part of her Christmas gift. I'm also gonna get her something else, but she wanted to like try out makeup and stuff. So I thought it would be like a good addition to her gift. So she's gonna get that. And there, everything was on sale. So like nothing was regular price, I don't think. So I'm really happy and I felt like that was a deal. I think I saved like $167 or something like that. And then also with the magic link, I think it was like 10% off 
on top of it so like i saved half so that was actually really good in retrospect but i did need the things so i deemed it as necessary but obviously like i don't need like new sweatpants or like new aligns or anything i do want the pink align so bad so so bad but anyway i'm gonna hold off on it for a little bit i don't know i don't know you guys this is really really difficult but hopefully i hopefully i can save wish me luck please i need some support in the comments anyway i love you guys good night i'll see you guys tomorrow Bye.